So let's get into asking for referrals, right? I mentioned this morning, some people say you should never ask for referrals. Really? Do you believe in the work you do? Do people put off doing the work that you do? Do people put off buying insurance to protect their, their families, their loved ones, their businesses? Yeah. And what was, was uh, the gentleman, um, Sanjay, right, was talking about how he wished he had sold his friend. He didn't let his friend delay the decision, right? The work you do is very important. And so it's incumbent upon you to offer that opportunity to serve other people. Not because you get paid, because you believe in the work you do, right? So for me, that's where asking for referrals comes from, that place of belief in that we do good work for people, right? It's got to come from that place. It's got to be sincere, because your clients can tell the difference if you're being sincere around that. Now, we want to do it in a way that isn't pushing or begging. So um, most people don't ask for referrals, right? They're, there's, they're, they have a barrier to it. And I've been teaching my system for almost 20 years to financial professionals all over the world. And it's pretty much the same thing everywhere I go. Why people don't ask for referrals, it's usually a sign of some kind of fear, right? If you don't feel confident with something, if you don't feel confident, what do you feel? Fear, doubt, uncertainty, and then inaction, right? So let's examine some of the fears, some of the doubts that people have around asking for referrals, right? Sometimes people are afraid they haven't or concerned they haven't provided value yet, right? You see that a lot from newer agents and newer advisors, right? You don't know what the value is, so you're not sure if it's time to be proactive. Now, I already told you, some of you have had clients or prospects thank you just for setting the appointment. They already see the value. You've already provided value to them. Even if someone doesn't buy from you, have you put them through a process that's helped them, that's educated them, that's made them realize certain things about their financial life or financial future? Yeah, right? So the key is having a process that allows you to determine that value has indeed been delivered. So you can feel comfortable about that. Some people are afraid of hurting the relationship, right? You don't want to come across pushy. You don't want to hurt the relationship. And, and I agree, we don't want to hurt the relationship. We don't want to come across pushy. So again, the key is finding a, a process, a way to be proactive without being pushy, right? Fear you'll look needy, unprofessional, unsuccessful. We have an expression, hat in hand, right? You don't want to look like that, do you? Right? especially when you're working with very successful people. So, again, the key is to have a process that doesn't look needy, that doesn't look unprofessional. Right? It's all in having the, the right process. <clears throat> Fear of rejection, right? Now, you already know if you're afraid of rejection, you're in the wrong business, right? But I've seen some people, some people's fear of rejection shows up in different places, right? I know some people can cold call or call leads but they don't mind being rejected by those people because they don't have a relationship with them. But once you start a little bit of relationship with someone and they don't want to give you referrals, then you make it mean too much. And so you don't want to go there, right? Now let me share with you my philosophy around rejection and how to deal better with rejection. Some folks, some sales trainers, experts in sales, will tell you they're not rejecting you, they're rejecting your offer. They're not rejecting you, they just haven't seen the value. You haven't made a good case for the value. And sometimes that's true. And you know what I've learned? Sometimes they're rejecting us, right? We, we're not gonna get along with everybody. Our personalities don't match with everybody. The key is to not take rejection personally, right? It doesn't mean anything. No, all that no means is no, right? So here are two words that I will give to you that you can use if you like them to deal with rejection in this business. 